I think the, the main thing is, right, like you or me or anyone, like we live these days half our lives online, half our lives offline. But we don't think like, oh, today I'm going to do online time. Today I'm going to do offline time, right? It's all kind of integrated. And I think it's the same for shopping, for brands, for retail. Sometimes you're at the store, sometimes you're on your phone. So that's why I think it's actually good to have both sides together. And that's what we mean by omnichannel. Like a holistic, integrated experience that's across all the different channels. E-commerce is so convenient, right? It's a way for customers to find all different types of merchants and brands really easily. Every day we saw an increase in the number of orders and transactions. Pretty much every single day there was growth. It was already really big in the States, in China, in Korea, even in Europe. And so I, I knew that it would be really popular in Southeast Asia as well. If you have a store, maybe they'll visit your store once a week, once a month, if you're lucky. But online, through all the different social media, you can reach them every day, right? And you can also see, okay, what are they browsing? What are they looking for? What are they buying? Online, you can build your brand. You don't have to have a lot of money. You don't have to have a lot of connections or resources. You just have to have a good idea. Online is that you can really create a very strong relationship with your customers. It's actually, in some ways, more intimate even though you're behind a screen. So when we first started, you can call me like an e-commerce believer. You know? Every year we used to do a customer survey. We would survey all of our customers, we send them an email, fill out the questionnaire, and the last question is like, okay, what do you want from Pomelo? What's the number one thing you want from Pomelo? And the first year we did the survey, the result was physical stores. Like, I think we just need to be even better online. Second year, same answer, stores. Third year, stores again. And that's when I was like, okay, let's try opening a store. But let's try to do it in our way, in a different way, using technology, connecting it to the app. So that's how we started our omni-channel journey. So uh, one of our first stores was in Singapore in a department store called Tang. And in a department store, they only give you like limited space. Now at the time we had maybe three, 4,000 styles online. So we were like, oh, how do we show all of the products in the store, it's so small. And that's when I realized, I was like, wait a second, maybe it's okay if people check out the product online, but they still try it in the store. So that was really the beginning of Tap Try Buy. So basically customers can uh, go online, you would say, hey, if you want, you can try it on location. You log on to the app as a customer. We have all, over 700 different brands from Pomelo to other brands. We have international brands, local brands, and you pick uh, and build your basket. And then you go to the checkout and you pick Tap Try Buy. You decide whether you want to do it at home or in a store. The next day, you get a push message saying, hey, your order is ready to try. You walk in, show your app, they take you to the fitting room, everything that you ordered is waiting for you. You try it on, mix and match, see what you like, and then what you want, you take to check out, and that's, that's basically it. For Tap Try Buy at home, it would get sent to your condo, and then what you don't want, you put it aside, call the grab, they take it to one of our stores, and then it goes back to our warehouse from there. So many times when you buy online, maybe the product doesn't look like what it looked like in the photo. Or maybe you just think it doesn't match your style when you try it on. But in a normal e-commerce model, when that happens, you have to find a way to return it, or maybe the shop doesn't even let you do the return. So the idea is try before you buy, right? We want you to be 100% happy with what you buy. And the feedback was really good, so we were like, okay, we might be onto something. We don't have an omni-channel department, but I think it does require a clear strategy. What's the purpose of the store? What's the purpose of your online? 
And I think the last thing is your customers, you know, make sure that it makes sense for them. Maybe they prefer to shop online only, then no need to have the store. Or maybe they just want to shop offline because of your product, right? Then you might want to focus on offline. So I think there's not one size fits all, but I think ultimately it comes down to good teamwork, good communication, and really understanding your customer and what they're looking for. It's been almost nine years now, and I'm really happy with the progress that we've made, the brand that we've built. I think we have a really amazing team. In terms of like what else, what more, I think one of the key things that I try to do, important thing is to focus on the here and now, we want to be the store that you have to go to when you go to the shopping mall. Online, we want to have the best e-commerce experience, best personalization, uh, the best kind of uh, tap, try, buy, omni-channel experience, best payment options, best content. And I think that's really the goal of the customer experience piece. Focus on the product and the customer, and then you see where you go from there. You know, I think that's really the key.